this step, you will assign a random value to the predictor variable, similar to how you may have already done it in the hot potato program. Go to operators, drag a random integer operator onto the right side of the set block. You'll create a range with enough possibilities to fulfill the three predictions. Yes, no, and maybe. Set the random bounds from one to three. Another tactic you'll use is nesting if then else blocks to create more than two possible outcomes. Go to controls, drag an if then else block inside the existing if then, and a second if then else block into the new else condition. Now you have three possible outcomes. Now you need to program each prediction. Let's start with the yes prediction. Drag a comparator block into the first true field and set it to equals to. Go to variables and drag the predictor variable into the left side of the comparison. Change the zero on the right to one. One will represent yes. Now let's add a speak block and type yes. Also, add a main LED block and set it to green. Last, Let's add a celebratory motion for yes. Go to controls and drag a loop block. Set the loop count to six. Now let's add some motion by dragging two raw motor blocks. On the first one, set the left motor power to 150, the right to zero, and the duration to 0.2 seconds. On the second one, set the left motor power to zero, the right to 150, and the duration to 0.2 seconds. Now you have a clear yes prediction. On to building the maybe prediction. Drag another equal to comparator into the second true field. Go to variables and drag the predictor variable into the left side of the comparison. Now let's change the zero on the right side of the comparison to two. Two will represent maybe. Now add a speak block and type the word maybe. Add a main LED block and set it to yellow. Last, let's add a confused motion for maybe. Drag a spin block and set it to rotate 1440 degrees for two seconds. Now you also have a clear maybe prediction. Finally, let's create the no prediction. The only number left in our random range is three, so three will represent no. Add a speak block and type no. Also, add a main LED block and set it to red. Lastly, let's add a motion to represent shaking your head side to side for no. Go to controls and add a loop block and set the count to five. Drag two spin blocks inside the loop. Change the first spin block to 180 degrees and 0.2 seconds. Change the second block to negative 180 degrees and 0.2 seconds. Now you have our third and final prediction, the answer no. You're almost there, so continue to step three to learn how to reset the fortune teller after each question. Mm -hmm.